Hi guys and welcome. My name is Dolores Nascrit and I'm coming to you from sunny Manitoba, Canada. I actually spent a glorious morning today planting a bunch of perennials that had been gifted to me by my neighbors. What a great community. And look, if you look out my window, you see that I've actually got some green grass growing. That definitely beats the pile of dirt that was there a few weeks ago. Dirt and rocks. Believe me, I picked more rocks than I ever want to pick again. So with all this time I'm spending outside, I've been kind of falling behind a little bit in my work. Or I shouldn't say falling behind, but I really feel like I have to have, I guess what you'd call efficiency strategies in order to get the amount of work done that I need to get done. I was super excited earlier this week to find out that a big company is going to be possibly producing some of my artwork on mugs that they sell in gift shops right across Canada and the States and maybe elsewhere, I don't even know. We're actually at the development stage now where they're gonna be creating some prototypes. I'm just actually signing an offer to develop and it'll be so that they can make prototypes and test them in the market. So I'm super excited about that. And of course, they're florals. <laughs> So as you know, I've been working on florals. I think I talked about that a little bit in another class, but I really found that because I'm using Procreate so much to develop these, that I really wanted to create a bunch of brushes with flowers that I could use as, well, in the artwork or as fillers, whichever. I'm working on a bunch, so I thought, well, hey, this is a great process that I could share with you. So I'm producing this quick little class here to show you what I'm doing and how I'm going about doing it. So I'm hand drawing all of the motifs and then I'm creating brushes out of them. Because they're stamp brushes, there are very few settings that we have to worry about in the brush studio. So that'll be kind of a fun thing to go through. And I'm gonna be showing you how you could use these as just plain stamp brushes or as scatter brushes. So if you're familiar with scatter brushes from Illustrator, you can get kind of the same effect here in the brush studio. So I'll show you all of that in this class. One of the things I really look forward to showing you too is how I'm using these stamps. I've got a bunch of really neat little projects and I'm gonna show you each of them individually so that you can get an idea of what you can do with these brushes. Are you ready to get started? All right, let's get into it. I'll see you in lesson one. <laughs> 